As I'm sure you know, the world is full of con men and scammers, people always trying to get your money. Today, I'm going to teach you a very common scam that's easy to fall for. Now, I'm not teaching you so you can do it. Obviously, it's illegal to steal someone's money. I'm teaching you the scam so that you never fall for it. So imagine this. You decide to go out and grab a drink after work, and you're sitting at the bar. You're minding your own business, and this drunk old man walks in and sits down next to you. He seems like a nice enough guy, but he's being a little bit obnoxious, and he's kind of loud, and he's, he's, he's kind of making a ruckus, but he strikes up a conversation with you. And he wants to tell you how he's been playing poker all night. He was at this game, and he was so lucky he just couldn't lose. He, he was so lucky he even won their deck of cards when he left. That's how good he was. He said, I couldn't believe it. Every hand they dealt me, I just kept winning and winning and winning. I just, I just can't lose tonight. So then you go on to have some conversation, and before you know it, he suggests playing a hand of cards, you know, just for a drink. He goes, one round, whoever loses buys the round. And you don't feel, feel like playing poker right now, but what are you going to do, right? You, you agree to it just to shut the guy up. So he deals a hand of cards to you, five cards to you, five cards to himself. And he says, you know what? He goes, I'll even let you look at your cards first. If you, if you think you have a bad hand, then you don't even have to play. So that, that seems pretty fair. So you pick up your cards, and lo and behold, he dealt you four kings. I mean, that, that's pretty amazing. He looks at his cards, and he gets super excited. I told you I can't lose tonight. This is crazy. You're thinking, what could he possibly have if I have four kings? Now you're getting a little nervous. Maybe he's cheating or something. But um, just as, as you start to get concerned... He leans away to order another drink, and by accident, he flashes his hand to you, and you get to see that he's actually holding three jacks. Well, now you're pretty excited because you know you can't lose, right? You've got four kings. So you agree to play the hand and whatever. It's just a round of drinks. You kind of feel bad because you've seen his hand, but it's a round of drinks. So he turns to you and says, okay, we're going to play. Um, uh, how many cards do you want? Oh, you didn't realize that it was a game of draw. You thought it was just five card stud. But anyway, whatever. Let him draw some cards. You've got four kings. You can't lose, right? So you say, you know what? I'm good. I don't want any cards. He says, okay, good. I'm going to take two. He takes two cards. He picks them up and his face lights up. He can't believe it. He's super excited. I told you I couldn't lose tonight. What a great night. Oh man, I wish we were playing for money. I can't believe this is just for a drink. And you're getting a little annoyed at the guy because he's, he's, he's being pretty obnoxious at this point. And so you say, you know what? You want to bet? Let's bet, right? You figure, what's the worst that happens? He caught his fourth jack. You have four kings. You can't lose anyway. So let's bet some money. So he says, yeah. Oh, you think you said that? How much do you want to bet? Well, you reach in your pocket. Now you're really annoyed at this guy. You want to teach him a lesson. So you take all the money out of your pocket. You've got 300 bucks on you. He goes, 300? All right, let's do it. He puts 300 bucks down. You cannot believe you're about to take 300 bucks off this old man. You, again, you feel bad about it, but hey, he's the one that suggested it. He's being obnoxious. So you flip over your four kings. You go to reach for the money, and before you can grab it, he goes, hold on. He flips up his hand, and he's got a straight flush. How did he do that? He wins the money. He gets up. He walks out of the bar. You've just been scammed. Here's the setup for the scam. First, the man was never drunk, right? He was acting drunk. He came in. He probably didn't have any drinks at all. He orders one drink at the bar. He sips it a little. It's all part of the scam. He wants you to think that he's had too many. He wants you to not like him, so he's purposely being obnoxious and loud. Now he pulls out this deck of cards, and it's stacked from the top, right? And he can even do a false shuffle if he wants. It doesn't matter because you're not, you're not suspecting anything at this point. And what he does is he just sets the deck up so that when he deals a top card, it's going to be a king. That's going to go to you. And then the next card's a jack that goes to him. Then the next card is a king and then a jack. He just took the two hands, preset, alternated them in the deck, on the top of the deck, and he's ready to go. So when he dealt these hands out to you, he purposely shows part of his hand. He wants you to see his hand so that you think that you absolutely cannot lose. So when he draws two cards, you assume that he's keeping the three jacks and he's getting rid of those two other random cards trying to catch the fourth jack. But in this case, he actually held on to the jack of diamonds. And what you probably didn't notice was the other two random cards were the seven and the nine of diamonds. So now all he has to draw is the eight and the ten of diamonds to give him a straight flush. Now you may be wondering, if, if you knew this scam, is there a way to beat it? Well, you probably never beat a scam, but there is one thing you could do. If you realized you're being scammed and you're in the middle of it at this point, instead of staying with your four kings, you can get rid of the king and the other random card, keeping three kings, you'll mess up his stack, and hopefully he won't be able to deal himself then the rest of the straight flush. There is a counter to this, though. You saw that I put the jack as the next card after those other two random cards. So in this case, if you did that, he would just take the next card, which is a jack, and then he got four jacks, you're stuck with three kings, he still wins. So the best way to beat this scam is to just not get caught up in it at all. Someone offers to play poker with you in a bar, just don't play.